Sketchless 3D, we want to modify this room to put a bookshelf or a storage area under the window between the two tall cabinets. The things to know about this screen are that there are three tools in Sketchlist are all represented on the screen and they're they're integrated. So if I want to work on the um, left unit, I click there. You see that any changes I make in the left unit on the spreadsheet or in the calculator or using the red dots, and I'm right clicking here, reflect in all three of these. So depending on the manner in which you prefer to work, you can use um, the calculator, the spreadsheet, or the dots. There are three different ways we can add the cabinet to our design. D depending on the amount of detail you want to add and the uh, amount of time you want to spend doing the design. The first is to add a design from the library. So I click library and say I am interested in this base cabinet. I have to make sure that the cabinet's going to fit. So I'm going to drop back and use this 12 inch cube. Now the insertions from the library always happen in the middle of the, of the design or project, I should say. I copy that value, right-click the blue dot, and paste that value there. See that I have my center area lined up. Now what I can do is take this and resize it. I'm just going to take this red dot and drag it upward. And the amount straight away. So it's, let's say this would be 63. And, and there you have it. Now we can go in, and I will in additional video, go into this uh, project or this assembly. First I want to do is rename it. So this is Center Storage Unit. Then go into that Center Storage Unit. And here's where I can enter doors and drawers and shelving and things, um, which, again, I'll do in, an, in a further video. Now I'm going to delete that. And this time I'm going to use the Cabinet Wizard to create my own model. From the Cabinet Wizard, I'm going to take this box with shelf and select it. Resize the assembly. So let's just say it's 24, 24, hit the Enter key by 60. Again, Enter key. And the depth is going to be 24. So I'm going to add that. and exit the cabinet wizard. Now, just as I did before with the right-click blue dot, I'm going to copy that value, come into our new cabinet, and paste that value. Okay, this assembly is too big. If I, if I moved it over, it wouldn't it wouldn't fit. And you see how that uh, fits in there now. Just like uh, using an object from the saved library, we can go into this assembly and go into the assembly and add the various doors and drawers, whatever else you need. I've deleted that 
storage unit again, and we'll build one from scratch. So I'm going to insert an assembly, add an assembly. The assembly at first defaults to the size of the, uh, of the object. So what I want to do here is set this left to be 18. and the width to be 60. Let's look here. The left of that is, the right of that is 18. The left of this is 18. Like that. And if I look at the right unit, its left value is 82. So if I take this, just say 82, that fits in there perfectly. Then what I'll do is I'm just going to grab this red dot and pull the size down. So this is a blank uh, or empty assembly box. I go into that level and I'm going to name this storage. Go into the storage unit. What I did was at the work level I double clicked. Now we'll begin to build out the actual storage unit. To do that I'm in the storage unit at the assembly level of the hierarchy. And I'm going to insert a board. So if I click the insert board or add board button, name it the side left, and pick a material. Now the material I want to use for this cabinet isn't there, so I'm going to select another material, go to sheet goods, and pick a material that looks like and is the same size of your your design. So I'll use that beach. And so I've named I've named that part. I picked the material and I'll take the width. The width is going to be three quarters of an inch. So that can be a sideboard standing up. So I'm looking at the thickness three quarters, which is the um, the thickness. The height of this will be unit is. So I can see there. So the height is going to be 27. The depth, which is 24. That will be the grain direction. And I add that board. So now I'm going to use the clone and space function. I want to make the boards, add the boards from the left. And I'm going to add three boards. I will have SketchList calculate the spacing of those boards such that the final board is 64 inches from the left edge of the assembly. So this board here, you see, is 64 inches from that board, and all the other boards are made accordingly. To get this to fit up. So I'm going to add that backboard. Click the Add Board button. Need a name, material, width, is 64 at this point, height, I go with 24 initially, and depth is 3 quarters. This depth is the thickness of the wood, and the grain direction is going to run side to side so I can lay a sheet of plywood down and cut it from one uh, 96 inch length. Everything in SketchList inserts at the point where its lowest, leftmost, bottommost corner are all equal to zero. I could take this and just go to the calculator 
and slide it backwards. And then I can take this red dot and just slide it up to make up the full size. So if we go back to the project level, see it's starting to build in, come back to our storage unit, put in two additional boards. What I'm going to do is add a little space on the bottom on these two for the bottom board. So I just make this bottom three quarters and this bottom three quarters. That. Add another board. To be the bottom sheet goods. Width is, I'm just going to take a guess. You don't have to be that specific. So if I was wanted to, I could make this width 55. Height is 3 quarters because that's the thickness. And the depth will be, uh, let's call it 23 right now. Again, you don't have to be that specific at this point. And this left is going to be 3 quarters. Like that. You see it's mostly done. What I can do is take this red dot, hold down the shift key, shift key red dot, and just pull this over this way. And oops, I went too far. Pull this over to there and it'll snap right on. Now in the same way, I should have done this first time, but the top will be 27 and a quarter. The top will be right click, 26 and three quarters. Same here. Right click the red dot, 26 and three quarters down. So I'm going to take that bottom board and just clone it and come back to the calculator and shift that to the top. Now if we go back to our assembly, see we're largely finished at this point. The next thing we're going to do is add doors to the uh, to the design. Go into the storage unit and select a door, add door, and the door is placed directly into the unit. And what I can do is copy that value of that corner, go into the door, and paste that unit value in there, apply. And you can put those pretty much in any order. I come here and I notice that the left value here is 27 and 677. Now that odd fraction just simply because comes because of the math. But I can take this door, right click its red value, and set it at, I can take this red dot, take this, set it at 21. And on the height, I come up here and I notice the bottom is 26. Top will be 26. And there's my door. If I want to fill the door, go to the door level, add a board, door panel, same material. Well, I'm going to change the material just so it appears a little differently. Use this. 
And again, I can guesstimate here to say 3 quarters is the thickness. The grain runs that way. And there's my, my board. And just crap. See, it made that door a bit too wide. Notice that its left value is 21. So all I have to do here is come here and put in 21 for the left value. And I've got it. Then I can take that board, clone and mirror it, and I've got the two, draw two doors. Finally, we're going to add the drawer in that center unit. So what I notice about that is that its right value is, let's call it 22. So I'm going to put in a drawer. And just like I did with the door, I go here. Grab that value, right click, copy, go back here, make it a bit bigger, right click, paste, Let's take that right value, and this is going to be 42. I'm going to leave it at 42 for now. 42. And the height of this is going to be, let's say, and the depth of the drawer, we can just sort of set that at, there's our drawer. Now, like we did with the doors, we're going to go into the drawer level and fill in the boards. So add board, board name is drawer front. I'm going to make that out of this material, 12, height, 5, depth, 3 quarters. And that is the thickness. The grain is going to run that way. Now I just do that because it's a lot easier to grab this and pull it than it is to try to calculate that value. You can go through this process again and again. I'll just do a side. Try to be somewhat descriptive in your board names. Here, width would be three quarters thickness. Height will be, let's say it's five. And the depth is going to be uh, 20. And that will be the grain direction. Put it a half inch to the left for a drawer slide. Say, the estimate was wrong there, but that's all right. Just drag that with your, with your mouse. And I forgot to set the front. So this will be 3 quarters. This will be 3 quarters. Take this, clone and mirror it. You have the other side. Now what I can do is I can take that front board and clone it, drag it from the front to the back. Some adjusting to be made. So this is, uh, so I'm going to make this bottom half and the height will be four. Changing the top. Take this, slide it out. Hold the shift key down and slide it back, and you see it just snaps to right there. Hold down the shift key, and it snaps against. And finally, I can put the bottom board in. But I think by this time you know how to do that. So go to the storage unit, grab my drawer. I'm going to clone and space this. From the bottom, I want four more drawers. If we go back to the project level, there's our insert for the storage unit.